Okay, it's this old guy in the garage with a pit where we're making, breaking, cussing, or fixing. And what we got today is our 2013 journey, and you can see the traction control light right down here is on. And we think what it is is the clock spring and the steering sensor, which is this little puppy right here. And I've just bought a new one, uh, and we're going to put it in. Tested it with a computer, and it said it was the steering angle sensor which is this device that I had to buy. It's a clock spring and the steering angle sensor is supposed to be in it. To get this off, you need to first disconnect. You take the ground wire off first, which is right here. Make sure that that's off. Then you can take the positive wire off. Take the positive wire off right there, and I believe that's 15 millimeter. Disconnect the positive or the negative first, positive last, hook the positive up first when you hook it back up and the negative last. Always last for negative. Okay, we had to take this cover off. This cover right here had to come off. This was up in here. This cover was up in here around the steering column. Uh, this switch here snaps right off, lifts right up out, and this is the clock spring, hopefully with the steering angle sensor in it. Now, got to take the airbag out, make sure everything's disconnected, and there's two clips. I hope you can see that. There's an opening, a little flapper door, put a screwdriver pry it open. And there's two bolts that hold the airbag in. And they are 10 millimeter bolts. And they go right in there like that. Lift the airbag towards you slowly and remove. Uh, these are all color coded so you can't really mess them up. But these have to come off of the airbag. And that's a little clip in there. And then there's another one here I believe for the horn. Right there has to come off. And then... Once you do that, you can lift the airbag right out of it. But again, you got to really make sure you can lift the airbag right here. The airbag will come right out and make sure you're, everything's disconnected electronically. I mean battery-wise. So now we'll see if we can get the steering wheel off. These wires right here, hopefully, will. Uh, as the steering wheel comes towards me, and these should stay in there and this is the clock spring right there okay we ran into a problem here on the steering wheel trying to get it off and if you look in here there's just two square holes one on the left and one on the right and I had to make this thing these on this big wheel puller you can see it had an awful time getting the steering wheel off and I made this so that they'll fit right down in there and then turn and grab it and then I had to put this nut that holds the steering wheel on I had to put that back down in there and I used this flat piece to put on the steering or put on a nut to pull the steering wheel off and we kept putting a little bit of pressure on it and then tapping it and it finally it came loose so that's the worst part now to get this uh, clock spring and steering control module out we have to get this screw out right here which is a Torx and there's one back here and then that should come right out there's one here uh, I don't know what size Torx that is but there's one right there we'll pull it back a little bit so you can see it on the steering wheel it's probably located in about a 3 o'clock position, and there's one right on the front, about a 4 o'clock position, right here. And take that out. And there's one more screw i got to take off, which is right back here. The new clock spring has the screws in it. You can see there's one there, one there, and I don't know if there's one on the front. Uh, no, so we'll have to put one in there. But on the back of this, you'll see the wire connectors. And uh, 
there's one here one here and one here and you just simply take the old one out uh, they're right here one two and three uh, we're snapping the new ones back in they just snap right in you can hear it snap okay and there's there's the new ones all snap back in the yellow one usually means the airbag one and now we're ready to set this up in here and And this device up here is what's holding the, this aligns the clock spring so it doesn't get turned. And of course its string will fit right back in here. See this won't turn because uh, I have that part there and, that, and that's got to come out and then there's a wire goes in that that snaps in that. So we put the screws back in. We're going to put the turn signal back, switch back in, but you can see this little groove. I think you can right there. And that fits right down in there. And then it just goes and push it until it snaps. There, you heard it snap. Okay. Now we can take this out. That's the this here. Okay. Now we can take the pin out that's holding the clock spring in alignment. See, that's just that little pin and held that in alignment, and and uh, to make sure that the steering wheel is straight. It can only go on one way. And this these are the new wires that come with it for the airbag. Okay. Now to put the steering wheel back on, if you look in here, you'll see this is the pin. There's a pin right there. That yellow thing you see right there. Let me see if I can get the camera over a little bit. And that is to make sure that the steering wheel is lined up and everything's okay in there. This yellow wire comes through, and then you take this and plug it into here. There, hear it click. Okay, now everything will turn with the steering wheel. And then this goes into the airbag, this goes in the horn, we put the two bolts back in, and that should do it. Okay, there you have it. We got the steering wheel uh, bolt back in there. I think it's 15 millimeter. Steering wheel's good and tight. Now we can put the airbag back in. Okay, you'll note on the airbag, on the steering wheel here, there's a yellow and a black, and that corresponds to the yellow and the black here. And then don't forget to hook up the horn right here. Uh, the clip goes up in the top that holds the wires in line for the airbag and then the horn there's a there's a little uh, plastic clamp there that it fits in the uh, airbag right back in place and there you go it's right back in place I don't know if you can see that sun's kind of shining in pretty good so let's try it from up here and then we just put the two bolts back in the side over here and then that should be it. Okay, if you look right up in there, uh, let's see if we can get it to focus. I have a little hard time focusing, but that's where this uh, 10 millimeter bolt head goes up in there. I'll show you here. I think that goes right up in there. Okay, there it is. There's the bolt up in there. It was right up in the side of the column right there. Okay, here's my backup camera, and before, when I would turn the steering wheel, the trajectory w wouldn't show. And you see it's showing now. But we're going to ride, and everything worked. The cruise worked, uh, the analogs are okay, and the traction control light went out.